The community in Plainfield, Illinois, came together on Tuesday for a vigil for six-year-old Wadia Al-Fayumi, who police say was killed for being Palestinian-American. Investigators believe the boy and his mother were stabbed on Saturday by their landlord, Joseph Zuba, because of their Muslim faith. A week after the Gaza conflict flared and put Jewish and Palestinian Muslim communities in the United States on edge. Wadia was stabbed 26 times while his mother suffered multiple wounds. She remains in hospital but is expected to survive. Mahmoud Yosef, Wadia's great uncle, said he was overwhelmed by the whole community response. I'm overwhelmed because we thought we're going to come here to see a Muslim Arab community. Several vigil attendees carried candles, others carried signs in honor of Wadia. This little boy, who appeared to be around the same age, held a large sign that read, I am not a threat. In court on Monday, prosecutors alleged that Zuba had listened to conservative talk radio about the deadly conflict between Israel and Gaza prior to the attack. Civil rights group NWACP member Michael Childress is among those who attended the vigil. I, I don't understand the hatred that we have inside of us. That, And I just needed to come out and, and express the fact that we stand with all our Muslim brothers. We stand with our our uh, Jewish brothers, you know, we stand with everybody. Biden's administration sent a representative to attend the vigil. The Muslims supporting a Zionist! Yes. We, we are! are. We are but when Delawa Saeed, the highest ranking Muslim in the administration, began to speak, he was met with several hecklers. We are here for Wadiya, okay? Be respectful! Cindy Glass also attended the vigil. Her young son, Dexter, was close friends with Wadia in school. I'm proud of our community. Um, we had a little bit of a little bit of heightened emotions there for a minute, but for the most part, I, I'm proud. I'm proud of us, and I'm proud that everybody came together and everybody was able to just put everything aside and think about the kids, think about Wadia, think about his family. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what this is all about. That's how tough the deal.